Sergeant Hudson, do you have a moment? Sure, Cartwright. What's going on? I was wondering if we could go over some of this map reading information again. I want to be sure I'm ready for what's up ahead. Need some brushing up, huh? No problem, that's understandable. Even at a relatively basic level, there's a lot to remember when it comes to maps. I'm glad you came to me before the mission. Primary pace count duties are going to be very important in the forest. I really appreciate it, Sergeant. The technical manual is helpful, but it's so full of information, it's nice to have someone walk me through it. Absolutely, I'm happy to help. Let's take a look at the map we're about to be using. Might as well get familiar with it. You know what scale this map is, right? Yes, Sergeant, it's a large scale map, one to 50,000. Good, it's important to keep that in mind when you use your protractor. Now let's go over the grid reference system. This reference system is used to plot coordinates and convey location. The next thing I'd like to go over is the marginal information. Look at the map again. See the charts and data around the borders of the map? This is where you'll find valuable information about the map, such as the scale, symbols used, and elevations in terrain. There's also the declination diagram, bar scale, and a lot of other stuff. Depending on the maps you are provided with, some parts of the marginal information can vary. As far as what you need to know now, make sure you're familiar with the legend, bar scale, declination diagram, and elevation guide. Understood, Sergeant. Seems like a lot of map readings knowing what to reference on the map for information. Absolutely, and you'll become more comfortable with it as you continue to see it. The more you use maps, the less you'll need to look back to the legend to identify symbols, for example. Do you think you can point out the parts of the marginal information on this map? I think so, Sergeant. All right, what about the part of the map that is used to convert map distance to distance on the ground? Exactly, the bar scale has several scales for different units of measurement. Can you point to the part of the map that shows terrain relief information? That's right, the elevation guide provides the map reader with a way to quickly recognize any major terrain features. What about the diagram used to convert between true north, magnetic north, and grid north? Good work. The declination diagram provides the easterly or westerly GM angle. To convert magnetic north to grid north with an easterly GM angle, add the GM angle. If there is a westerly angle, convert magnetic north by subtracting the GM angle. On this map, we have an easterly GM angle. Just one more part of the marginal information I'd like to go over. Sounds good, Sergeant. What part provides a key for the symbols used on the map? That's right. Reference a legend whenever a symbol appears on the map that you're not familiar with. You may want to take another look at the legend if you're rusty on map symbols. Okay, I think I have this down now, Sergeant. It's very important to understand the parts of the map's marginal information if you're going to navigate effectively. Understood, Sergeant. Okay, let's move on. Now as you use maps more frequently, you'll begin to pick up on symbols without having to constantly reference the legend. Different maps may use different symbols, but there are a few universal symbols you'll see pretty much everywhere. Blue for water, that kind of thing? Exactly. A lot of them are self-explanatory. Just for practice, let's look at the map with the legend covered and see if you can identify some common symbols without it. Glad to see that you know about some of these symbols already. Good to see you're familiar with the symbol for a loose surface road already. Exactly. That's right. The dashed line represents a trail. Exactly, that's a stream. 
The dashed lines at the end indicate that it is dissipating. Exactly. Good job, Cartwright. So, where are topographical symbols in the legend? Topography is represented by contour lines. They show relief and changes in elevation. The shapes they make and their thickness represents the shape of the land. Okay, it's coming back to me now. I remember that there are topographical symbols for major and minor terrain features, but what do the changes in line thickness mean? Or the thin, dashed contour lines? Well, the thickest contour lines are the index contour lines that occur every fifth line and are typically numbered to show the line's elevation. Intermediate contour lines are between index lines, usually in fours. They are narrower than index lines and don't have elevation shown. Supplementary contour lines are the dashed lines that show elevation of one half of the contour interval or greater, and are usually found where the ground is fairly level. Okay, that's making a lot more sense to me now. Thanks again, Sergeant. No problem. How about picking them out on the map? Good work. I think you have the parts of the map down. Good work. Good work. You're almost there, Cartwright. Keep reviewing the contour lines. They're extremely important for understanding how topography is shown. Thank you, Sergeant. It's been really helpful having someone go over this stuff with me. Good. I'll be around to help you, but it's important to be able to confidently read maps in this type of mission. You're going to do fine, Cartwright. Thank you, Sergeant. One thing to keep in mind. We're going to be traveling for a long time in that forest. It's going to be important not to waste too much time so we can get in and get out. Understood, Sergeant. Good. Well, it's almost time. Let's get ready to move out. That point is our first destination. Remember the Oakok principles. Observation in fields of fire, avenues of approach, key and decisive terrain, obstacles, and cover and concealment. This point will provide clear observation of the way ahead, along with the cover and concealment we need. It also has a clear field of fire for the trail ahead. The hilltop I'm looking at is marked on the map with a symbol for a landmark area. Can one of you point it out on the map for me? Landmark symbol, landmark symbol. I know I saw that on the map legend, but I'm having trouble finding it again. Cartwright, do you remember what it looked like? Do you think you can show me? Yeah, I can do that. The landmark symbol is a dashed line forming a circle with a cross in the center. Good. That area will be a perfect observation point. We need to submit the coordinates of the observation point to Sergeant Quesnel. Let's get the map oriented to the ground again. Do you have a protractor, Cartwright? Yep, right here. Okay, I definitely have this laid on the right point. Cartwright, you're better at this stuff than me. Can you read our coordinates? The eight digit grid coordinates of the observation point are 51, 93, 82, 95. Good. Those coordinates accurately describe our position. Thanks for being expedient, Cartwright. I'll get those coordinates relayed back to Sergeant Quesnel. Looks like they're heading north. They're at least 500 meters away. We need to stay vigilant and keep using the terrain to our advantage. Yes, yeah, Sergeant, this is a great vantage point. I can see a good distance in nearly every direction, but the evergreens around here provide reliable concealment. You can see why vantage points and key terrain features are essential. Absolutely, Sergeant. The landscape around here sure is wild. Yeah, there's some pretty interesting topography. Cartwright, the geologist. Topography is something you should all be familiar with. Remember, there are five major and three minor terrain features. Actually, I can see a few good examples from this hilltop. This is a good opportunity to make sure you all can recognize these features. Cartwright. Why don't you step over by me and see if you can point out the features on the map?
Terrain feature A is a ridge, feature B is a cliff, feature C is a saddle, and feature D is a spur. Good job, Cartwright. It's essential to be able to recognize topographical features on the ground and on the map. Understood, Sergeant. All right, enough lecturing for now. Let's keep moving to the northeast. Having any problems with the pace count, Cartwright? No, Sergeant, I'm good to go. Good man. All right, soldiers, let's get moving.